Have you ever written a passage of text that is like 90% of the way there, but you just need to add in a few extra bits of dialogue? Or maybe the dialogue is great, but you want to tweak the prose around the dialogue? Or you might feel that the opening paragraph is too bulky? Or that one sentence just doesn't seem to fit? Wait, is that passage in the wrong tense? Oh no, this passage is in the wrong point of view. This is where text replacement prompts come into play. Text replacement prompts take a selection of your writing and apply a change to them. These can be as small as removing adverbs or rewriting entire sections of prose. You may even want to use these to continue your story. In Novel Crafter, we have three system prompts. Expand, rephrase and shorten. But the customizability of Novel Crafter enables us to do so much more. If you find that one of the default prompts isn't performing as you'd like, then simply clone it and change the prompt to be more what you want. We've linked some videos that discuss editing prompts in the details below. You can clone a prompt, you can see a copy's been made, and say if you wanted to change the amount of words it read before. You could. It's simple. The following tips will utilise the system prompts and alternative prompts. In this video, we will show you three text replacement prompts that I use in my own writing process and how you can use them to edit your prose. All of the prompts in this video have been shared in a Notion document attached to the video, along with instructions on how to take the string of characters and put them into your own Novel Crafter prompt library. Sometimes you have an idea for how you want a scene to go, but you can't quite get there. You can't work out a movement, the dialogue sounds a little out of tone, or you don't like that a certain word is used. By putting your instruction in square brackets and selecting the entire text, these prompts will help carry out your instructions. No need for custom prompts, many of these unique scenarios can be fulfilled with this one nifty trick. And you don't need any fancy prompting either. These work with both the rephrase and expand system prompts. Let me show you. So, say in this paragraph here, we have mention of a conversation, but nothing is really said. So let's add in, um, we will go here and uh, show this in dialogue. I will select the entire paragraph and then go on expand and then select my model. And you can see here, that they've begun to add things. Now you might find that this conversation isn't quite going the direction that you want. So let's go with a uh, new holodrama. In my world, this book is set in, there isn't a holodrama. That's not a thing. Like it's sci-fi, but like gritty. And then let's go and rephrase. And so here you can see that you can start fine-tuning your work to show what you're actually wanting and you can just keep giving small concise instructions that help prompt the AI. What if you find that the text is too long or is very AI heavy or it's just not in your style? Making your own line edit prompts can help take the text and apply basic edits including strengthening verbs, removing filler words, and applying the show don't tell rule. These prompts are perfect for if you regularly apply the same prompt to your writing, and you don't want to have to copy and paste the bracketed instructions all the time. So for example, in my library, I have a stronger verbs prompt that asks when you're given text, rewrite it to strengthen verbs and remove adverbs while maintaining the same meaning. If we go into the write interface, Let's select this paragraph here, stronger verbs. I only had one model on, hence why I only had to click once. And you can see here, it's rewritten the prompt. One thing you might notice is that uh, this is a destructive edit in that the original is not kept. However, you can always copy and paste a paragraph if you want to compare and contrast. And yeah, if you're happy, you can click apply. What if you're writing and you're completely stuck and you're not sure what to put in the next beat even? How can we use text replacement prompts to help with this? 
Included in the Notion document is my continuing the story uh, with different options text replacement prompt. This prompt gives three suggestions for the continuation of the selected paragraph. Let's take a look. Here we have a paragraph selected. I am going to go edit, continuing the prose, select my model. And you can see how first it's instructed to repeat the original text. And then in sections, it is showing three different versions of how I could continue the story. So in the first scenario, Delilah focuses on getting home. In the second scenario, there's a similar need to get home. However, she has, she has like a decision. She chooses to do something specifically. And in the third scenario, she wants to go and consult someone for help. So they're similar, probably because of the words that have primed it, but they do give ideas for how to move your story on. Finally, if you're a serial one model user like myself, you can choose to remove all of your unused models and have your text replacement prompts be one click. Let's take a look. If we go into prompts to my continuing prose, I mainly use Sonnet, so let's delete all of those. If we go back into write and we select a paragraph and we go edit, we can now see that rather than having the arrow and lots of different options, we just have a one click button for our prompt. Thank you for watching this video. How do you use text replacement prompts? Do you have any prompts that you'd like to share with the community? If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below and our community will love to help you.